All right, now I would like to show you some chords or a progression in the key of A flat that you can use for background music or for um, talking music. Uh, chords and progressions that you can play while someone is talking, you're playing a uh, softly in the background to uh, create a certain mood or just to play some nice music um, while someone is speaking or something like that. And it sounds like this here. Okay, I did it slowly for you. Let me do a little faster now. Now, the way I started off was like this. This is actually uh, D-flat major 7, but I'm leaving the D-flat off. So this would actually be what I call root, a rootless voicing. I'm leaving the root of the chord off intentionally to get a certain type of sound. But the notes are A-flat, this is with my left hand, A-flat and F. And then I'm playing B-flat, E-flat, A-flat and C. It's quite a bit of a stretch. If you can't reach it, you can sound that E flat, excuse me, the B flat with your right hand, and then play the E flat, A flat, and C. Okay? S several ways you can do it. You can be creative in how you get all of the notes in there. Okay? And I'm actually starting with two melody notes, A flat, B flat, and then we play play the chord, okay? And then we go here. This is F minor seven with an added nine. Okay, my left hand is playing F, C, and G. My right hand is playing A flat, E flat, and B flat, okay? It has a bit of a crunch in it because of the G and the A flat, that half step there. Okay, again. And then we move to E flat minor seven with an uh, added nine and 11. My left hand is playing E flat and G flat. This is actually a minor 10th with my left hand instead of a uh, a major 10, I'm playing a minor 10, which is just a uh, lower to half step. The 10 is lower to half step. And the notes are E flat and G flat with the left hand. My right hand is B flat, D flat, F, and B flat as my top note. Once again, E flat, G flat, B flat, D flat. F and B flat. Then we move here. The notes are A flat, G flat, A, C, D, and F. A flat, G flat, A, C, D, and F. And then A flat on the top. Okay, so let me play it, play it again up until that point. And then we move to 
discord. Now, let me actually give you the name of this one. This is a, a pretty dissonant sounding chord. The, the name of it is A flat, dominant seven, flat nine, sharp 11, 13. <laughs> I'll say that again. It's A flat, dominant seven, flat nine. This is the flat nine, sharp 11. This is the sharp 11, 13. Okay. And if you don't understand um, chord names and flat nines and sharp 11s and 13s, I would encourage you to get my Learn How to Play in All 12 Keys DVD as well as the Gospel Piano Basics DVD. And I think it would help you uh, in understanding these chord names. It's, it's real important to understand the structure of the chord. And I, in, in particularly, I mean how chords are formed in terms of the numbers. So I, I would encourage you to uh, check those two DVDs out. So again, from the beginning of this progression, okay, you can leave the uh, A flat off or you can play it with this particular chord. And then we go to D flat major seven. Okay, with my left hand I'm playing D flat and A flat. This is the fifth. This is a fifth, one and five. And my right hand is playing F, A flat, B flat, C, and E flat. Alright. And then we do this. We move up like this. doing is I'm actually moving up the A flat major scale that the A flat major scale is this A flat B flat C B flat E flat F G and A flat and what I'm doing every note that I'm playing is actually moving up to the next scale degree or the next note of the A flat major scale so it's almost like I'm playing the A flat major scale, except I'm starting on D flat. Same notes, just starting in a different place. And then starting right here, and you put them together. Okay, and with my right hand, this is what I'm doing. I'm starting on F. And with my right hand, I'm also holding down the E flat. Okay, I'm, holding, I'm holding that down for each change I make. Next note of the scale, next note of the scale, next note of the scale, next note of the scale. Like that. The E flat does not change. The e flat's E flat stays the same as my top note. Okay, so just to break it down for you, D flat and A flat, E flat and B flat, F and C, G and D flat, A flat and E flat, B flat and F. Okay, my right hand is moving from F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D flat. And again, the E flat does not change as my top note. We put it all together, starting on the D flat, A flat, and F, and then we, we uh, move uh, upward. And then we do this. Now this is actually A flat dominant seven over C. And when I say over C, I just simply mean C is the bass note instead of A flat. So this is A flat dominant seven over C. And then we finally move to this here. Okay, and specifically I did this. Okay, 
D flat and A flat with my left hand. My right hand is playing F, G, B flat, and E flat. And then we move like this. Left hand stays the same, and right hand is F, A flat, B flat, and D flat. This is actually D flat major six. Major six meaning it's a major chord with an added six. All right, now let's play it once more. 